In this video, I'm going to outline how Netflix stock price has been affected in the past following the release of the most popular Netflix original series. I'll also be giving you some data back tips on timing for when these shows effects really kick in and influence the stock price. Now, before we jump into the numbers, I need to explain a few key points of my hypothesis behind this video. First, it's important to understand that past performance doesn't guarantee future success, and you should always do your own research before making any investment. For example, Netflix stock price increased in the two months after the debut of Bridgerton season one, but tanked severely in 2022 after season two kicked off. Many factors influence a stock's price and 2022 is largely dragged down by worldwide political turmoil. Second, a lot of investing is based off of human emotion, leading to my main thought for that when these massive Netflix originals are released, Netflix experiences a growth in users and demand for these shows. This leads to more subscriptions, which means more revenue for the company, ultimately propping up the stock because increased sales and users are what it's about to stock investors. So my research is about finding a pattern in these mega shows and using this information to take advantage of some of Netflix flagship releases like Squid Game 2 and Bridgerton 3 in 2024 and the final season of Stranger Things in 2025. All right, so let's get started with the highest performing show on the list, Squid Game Season 1, which was released on September 17th, 2021 and immediately captivated viewers during the pandemic caused lockdowns. The show went on to amass over 1,650 million watch hours and Netflix stock price climbed from 589 at release to 637 after 30 days and 691 after two months before settling back down to 586 three months into the show's lifespan. Six months after we all started watching those 456 competitors risk their lives, the stock had experienced a severe pullback into the beginning of 2022, falling to $371 per share. So had you invested in the stock on release, you could have topped out your returns at a 17% gain after two months. Let's see if this trend continues as you move through the other top performing series. And remember to like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Okay, on May 27, 2022, everyone's favorite telekinetic hero was back with her band from Hawkins as Stranger Things Season 4 returned for eager fans. This fourth offering from the Duffer Brothers amassed over 1,350 million watch hours, but was still slow to influence the stock price as Netflix dropped 3% from 195 to 189 per share in the first month. Things kicked into gear in the 30 to 60 day range though, moving higher to 226 per share and sitting at this level ending the first 90 days at 223. Eleven and Co had more to give investors, however, as six months after debut, a 44% gain had occurred, moving the stock price all the way up to $281 per share. On November 22nd, 2022, viewers were transported into the riveting world of another psychic heroine and mystery with the debut of Wednesday season one. This highly anticipated Netflix original series captivated audience worldwide, amassing a staggering 1,237 million watch hours. Despite the high engagement though, the impact of Netflix stock price was initially subdued. At release, Netflix was trading at 286 per share and within the first month, it experienced a modest increase climbing to 297, marking a 3.86% uptick. However, it was in the subsequent months that the true influence of Wednesday was felt. By the end of the second month, Netflix had surged to $358 per share, reflecting a substantial 24% increase from its initial release. The momentum faltered into the third month, with the stock price settling at 334 before being revived at the six-month mark, where Netflix had soared to 363 per share, marking an impressive 26% increase overall. So there seems to be a pattern emerging here. More on that in a moment. On September 21st, 2022, Netflix introduced viewers to the chilling world of true crime with the release of Dahmer. This gripping series delved into the disturbing psyche of one of America's most notorious serial killers, captivating audience to the tune of accumulating over 856 million watch hours. This engagement seemed to translate into steady gains for Netflix stock price. At release, Netflix was trading at 236, and within just one month, it surged all the way up to 289 marking an impressive 22% increase. By the end of 60 days, Netflix had remained elevated at 285 before pushing higher to 297 after the third month. The allure of the show continued to resonate with audiences and investors alike, as evidenced by the six month mark where Netflix had reached $305 per share, marking an impressive 29% increase overall. And now as you'll see on the charts to come, Money Heist season five's release on September 3rd, 2021 was right around the same time as the first season of Squid Game. So the data on price returns is very similar for both, 
leading me to believe that both shows were heavily attributing to the price movement of Netflix in the six month period that followed. Here's a breakdown to better visualize each of the shows we've discussed so far. And it appears that there's a bit of a sweet spot when it comes to Netflix stock price after these major releases. The best performing shows seem to lift prices the most in the 30 to 60 day period, meaning that if you were to buy in on the release date, you'd be holding shares for two months to experience peak growth. When I extrapolated this data out further and included five more shows with huge viewership, this 30 to 60 day window for high performance held true 70% of the time. And then I thought, what if other investors have put this information together as well and are front running these release dates? Could there be even better returns? So I compared investing in Netflix one month prior to the major show release dates and 70% of the time, it increased the overall return at the one and two month marks compared to buying shares at the same time as the Netflix original debuts. So it seems like we have a sweet spot to target as investors where we can increase our odds of success by tracking the releases of future super shows. Remember to do your own research before investing and subscribe to my channel if you got some value to this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.